start with you and Kate players. What questions? Well, how did it go from when you walked out to practice, what, this morning was the first time, and then see when people were coming in and all the time? Just what kind of how tough was it to focus on the volleyball and not the, not the crowd? I think we all said it was kind of less intimidating than we thought it was going to be just because the crowd was farther away than we thought they were going to be. But, I mean, we kind of – everyone's seen Nebraska games. Like, we know that the crowd knows volleyball was going to be super involved, and they were. Um, so I think we came in, and that's kind of what we expected. Yeah, it was nice to see the crowd start to fill up during our game. But, I mean, during our game, we really just focused on our team, trying to do one point at a time. But, yeah, it was really nice to see everyone show up like that. Just playing outside, I would imagine you've done a whole lot like that. Was, is there, you know, like what's similar, what's different to an ordinary game, just the being outside and wind and anything else like that? I mean, I think there are a lot of factors that were a lot different. We don't play outside a lot, but I mean, some of the things are the same, the serve and pass game, but even the depth perception plays a large role. And the wind, I would say, did play a role, um, especially with the setting and pushing it out to the pins. Yeah, I mean, all the basics of volleyball, the communication, the serve and pass game, like Lauren said, like those are all things that were the same, but the wind was definitely a factor in just hitting wise. I mean, if you were on top of the ball, go for it. But if you were underneath it or to the side of it, you kind of had to make a smart shot. Did it, did it take some time to kind of adjust to that? Yeah, I think all the hitters had kind of an adjusting period, especially that first set. But And even this afternoon, the sun was different, the wind was different. So there was definitely an adjustment period. I'm challenging for the shadows. Yeah, yeah, there wasn't too many sky balls. I think those were the ones we were worried about on like yeah. a free ball. Those are definitely when you lose the ball and you can't tell if it's the ball or the shadow. How do you come back from this? You have games, real games in two days. How do you come back mentally and physically? Um, I think we learned a lot from this game. Obviously, not the outcome we wanted, but there's a lot of good things that we saw. So coming into this weekend with our first games, I think we can take a lot of good things from this. Yeah, we definitely are ready for this weekend. This was kind of a game to go out and experience and represent Nebraska as a whole for volleyball. It wasn't necessarily about the outcome. So we learned a lot about our team, and we were able to be a part of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And what does it mean to you to be a part of that opportunity for the state? I mean, we were, we're both from Lincoln. We've seen Husker volleyball, we've been in Devaney, we've been in the Coliseum, so we know how big volleyball is. And just to get to see and show people that volleyball from D1 to D3 and NAI in Nebraska is solid and good volleyball. So, I mean, we're just happy to be able to represent that as a state. Yeah, I'd say it just makes me proud to be from Nebraska and I'm just glad that we got this opportunity to be here. Does it make you guys excited knowing that you're trying to break the D2 record, obviously, uh, here next week? And what would you say, I guess, to fans to get them in the Health and Sports Center? Yeah, I think it's super exciting. Now, having been experienced this, I think that'll be like nothing, not like nothing, but <laughs> it'll be easier for us to adjust to a crowd like that. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully all the Lopers show out for that game. Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be my first time playing. Um, in the Health and Sports Center against another opponent, like a real game. And so I'm super excited, and especially to get 4,000 people in there. That will be definitely a good experience. Generally speaking, what makes volleyball special in Nebraska? The fans. They know the game. They're involved. Um, you even saw in this game, whether they were Husker fans, Wayne fans, Loper fans, UNO fans, everyone was ready and cheering for everyone because this was about volleyball, not necessarily who's going to beat who. Jayden, now that you've been on campus for a while now, what's kind of come along the best as far as making the transition to UNK? I just think being back in Nebraska is a great thing. Um, this is what I wanted to do, and I found a good team, and they're highly competitive. I've gotten my butt kicked a few times by Carney, certainly. So to be on the other side and get to be with these girls and see the hard work and dedication they put in, um, I'm just lucky to be a part of a program and that they had room for me to come in. What does seeing a great opponent like Wayne State before the season even begin uh, do for this team in the road ahead? I think it was a really good test for us to start out with Wayne State as our first opponent. They're 
obviously one of the best teams that we're going to play this season. So knowing that we stuck with them, it, it gives us a good confidence boost going into the, our season. We're going to grow. Wayne is returning a lot of people that they had last year, and we're kind of working out lineups and involving younger players. And so that's a factor in that kind of learning curve and to come out in Memorial Stadium for probably your second game as a loper against an opponent. That's tough, and I think those younger players did a great job. Just a little unknower about the sunglasses during warm-ups. Was that, was that a team decision or just individuals? Was um, they kind of gave us a choice whether we wanted to do it or not. So some of us thought we should just try it out, and uh, it it wasn't it. So <laughs> we took them off, most of us, but it was a good idea. It was worth a try. Yeah. Do you have a favorite moment from the entirety of the day? I mean, you came down early, you saw the memorial empty, then you had the stadium obviously fill up more right before the match concluded. Was there a point in there you guys took it in and had, a, had one that'll memory that'll last? Um, yeah, I mean, coming, I mean, coming in, like there was fans lining up and they just wanted high fives. They were in Husker shirts, like not necessarily Loper shirts, but they just wanted to high five a college athlete. So, I mean, that just shows that everyone was there, like really for volleyball. I'd say for me, it was after the game when we were all just looking up at our families and finding our crowd sections um, and just waved and it was really special to see everyone there supporting us. What was what was your reaction or feeling when you first got to step out onto the field? Um, it was a little nerve wracking, but for practice, obviously there wasn't people there, so it was pretty comforting. And just getting settled in, I think, was a really big thing for us. And then as people started to show up, it really didn't play like a huge factor. Like I think we were comfortable by then, so that was just good to see people coming. It was exciting. I mean, anytime you step into Memorial, it's kind of a special experience, whether it's for football. And I know some of our girls said this was their first time in Memorial. So for it to be for volleyball, I think that was pretty special for them and for us as a team. Anything else? Uh, you mentioned that some of the people on your team obviously hadn't been to Memorial Stadium before. Obviously, not everyone's from Nebraska. What was it like for, did you talk with some of the people that aren't from the state? Did they know how big of a deal that this could be? I think some of them that I talked to, they said that they knew it was huge and was going to be a big deal, but not to what extent. So I think some of them were pretty surprised to see how big of a deal it really was. Exactly what she said, yeah. What do you, what do you hope the, the long-term impact of an event like this is? I mean, Nebraska as a whole, they call themselves the, Lincoln calls themselves the volleyball capital of the world. And just having an event like this and opening up to more programs is special and they didn't have to do that. So being a part of this shows that we are a volleyball state and there's good volleyball here and it can just open up so many more opportunities for volleyball as a whole across the country. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.